Am I the a-hole stories? Am I the a-hole for putting my kid's non-emergency surgery above my sick girlfriend? A little backstory, I, 37 male, have two kids. My daughter, 8 female, was adopted from India 5 years ago. Her right leg is completely malformed. We were told that we are going to need to amputate part of it so she can have a proper prosthetic. When she came home, we used a custom prosthetic that worked with her leg, but it was clear that wouldn't last forever. My late wife and I said we wanted to wait until she was fully settled into the family before getting the surgery. Two years later my wife passed away, for reasons I don't want to share, and that really put everything on hold, and it was a very hard adjustment. But finally, after I felt like we were getting back to normal last year, I got the surgery scheduled for April 22, 2020. Let's just say that couldn't happen because it was non-emergency, which annoys me because yeah, she wouldn't die if she didn't have the surgery right then but it was necessary. I also started dating my girlfriend 8 months ago, she has 3 kids who get along with my kids, and even though she's only met my kids 3 times, she's pretty nice to them. Well 5 months ago, I finally got the surgery scheduled for February 10, 2021. Last week, my girlfriend started feeling sick, we got negative tests, but she was okay until 2 days ago. That morning, she called me and said she was feeling really sick and she needed me to come over, that was the day of my daughter's surgery. I said I couldn't come over and she got really annoyed. She kept throwing it in my face that the doctors called it a non-emergency surgery. She suggested I just drop my 8 year old off at the hospital and then come over. I of course said no. Then she suggested I come over while she's in surgery. The surgery only takes about an hour, and I wanted to be there in case anything happened, so I again said no. The surgery went well and my daughter's currently home and resting, but my girlfriend has been ignoring me. She said to a mutual friend that I'm not even trying to make compromises here. I don't think I should have to compromise when my kid's in surgery. Am I the a-hole here? Should I have tried more to be there for my girlfriend? Now for the top comments. Sorry, it's a cliche around these parts, but the emergency surgery you really need is the one to remove the non-benign girlfriend from your life, permanently. Not the a-hole clearly. You're a good dad. Swift recuperation to your daughter. Also, what if girlfriend had something contagious? Visiting her for an hour during his daughter's necessary surgery, could have led to OP getting sick. What would have happened then? His daughter really doesn't need to be sick while recovering from surgery, that is a big deal. Also, what if girlfriend turned out to have COVID? I'm sorry but visiting her would have been way too risky. Basically, girlfriend was saying that her possibly contagious non-emergency sickness was more important than his daughter having a surgery, which could have taken months to reschedule. Glad OP is ditching her. Not the a-hole. Also in the medical field non-emergency doesn't automatically translate to being not serious. Every surgical procedure comes with risks and when it involves a child, you don't leave them alone. Not the a-hole. Red flags. Dump that girl. Anyone who thinks you should drop your 8-year-old off at the hospital to have her leg amputated, is going to be a nightmare significant other and stepmother. Yeah exactly. I can imagine a few hundred nightmare scenario just because of that. Not the a-hole OP, but you should get a girlfriend that will actually care about your kid's well-being. Not the a-hole. Your girlfriend is behaving like a child who's jealous cause her parents are paying attention to something other than her. Not the a-hole, wow your girlfriend sure is the a-hole though. Any surgical procedure has risks and especially for a child. Your girlfriend is unbelievably cruel to ask you to leave your child alone at a hospital for a pretty significant surgery. The only thing you need to do is cut your girlfriend out of your life, your kid should always come first. Edit, I texted her saying we need to break up and she hasn't seen it yet. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for not deleting my post about parenting when I have full custody of my kids? Hi, I'm 26 female. My ex is 30 male and our children are 4 female and 4 male. I made it clear from before we got married that I wanted an equal distribution of household responsibilities. We agreed that he would cook, I would clean, etc., and that when we'd have kids, we'd take care of them equally. It started off fine, but when our kids were born, he just stopped. One day he was tired and I was cooking, and then that became every day. I left him alone with them once, and he didn't notice when they both separately had soiled their diapers. He told me he'd improve, but it was honestly too late at that point. It just got worse and worse. I felt like I was parenting three kids. Some women told me marriage is just like that, but I couldn't do it. 
Not only am I working from home this quarantine, but I have to take care of two small children. This morning they surprised me with very sweet best mom ever cards. I guess quarantine has been rough for me because they just made me start bullying. I posted a picture of the cards on Instagram later with a big cheesy caption about how all the hardships of parenthood are worth it, I love my kids more than life, they're the best things that have ever happened to me, etc. I got an angry call from my ex a few hours later, telling me that I can't brag about my relationship with our kids while having full custody, saying that it's not fair and I'm just rubbing it in his face. He also mentioned that it's really funny that I think all the chores are worth it now, but not when I was married to him. I tried to explain the difference in the situation, but he said I could never understand how he feels because I have full custody and I basically abandoned him when he was at a low point. He told me to delete the post, and I told him I don't have to do anything I don't want to. It was admittedly an immature response and he called me out on it, but I still haven't deleted the post despite how it makes him feel. Am I the a-hole? Edit, to answer a question I'm seeing a lot, I haven't blocked him from my Instagram because I think it's only fair to him to see pictures of our kids no matter how much of a jerk he is sometimes. For people asking about the custody situation, he gave up custody. Now for the comments. Not the a-hole. It's really funny that him not doing the chores led to him losing custody of his kids. An explanation to him isn't worth your breath. This is exactly what I was thinking lol. Not the a-hole op. Bravo to you, I have heard that being a single mom is hard. So, you offered a 50-50 relationship. He agreed. Then he noped out of his 50% of the responsibilities. Now he's mad he doesn't get 50% of the nice parts? LOL, absolutely not the a-hole. Is he now offering to take classes so he can maybe be trusted not to leave them sitting in their own poop and regain 50% of the responsibilities? If no, then no, he does not get 50% of the fun stuff. You were very, very clear. He made his choices. He could also just put you on snooze if seeing that you have a healthy relationship with your kids, is such a trauma for him. It's pretty telling that this jackball is calling the OP and expecting her to do his emotional labor for him. Guess her dumping him for not doing any of the household labor still hasn't taught him anything. Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole, marriage is only like that because for a while, women couldn't divorce their husbands. And then they could but it was incredibly hard. And even today is difficult. It doesn't help that even today, society excuses things like this. That isn't how a marriage is supposed to work. Your ex can cry about it. Next story. Am I the a-hole for saying I won't come to my child's birth? My girlfriend has severe anxiety about everything, but mainly social situations. She's also currently 7 months pregnant with our second child. When she was around 4 months pregnant, she started talking about how she wanted to give birth at home and how much less stressful that environment would be. She claims that all of the nurses at the hospital are rude and give her panic attacks. She also pointed out that since because of COVID, both her mom and I could be in the room rather than just one of us. I could tell when she was talking about it that she had put a lot of thought into it, and was excited about it. It's her choice, ultimately I have no say since I can't force her to go to the hospital. I told her while it's up to her, if she chooses to give birth in our bathtub, I simply cannot support her decision. I told her that I will not be present. Literally anything could go wrong and I don't want to be a witness to it. Her mom thinks she's being silly as well, but is going to be present. My girlfriend is very angry with me and is being really quiet. She says that I should just support her but I'm not going to blindly support her awful choices. Am I the a-hole here? Now for the comments. Everyone sucks here. OP has stated that girlfriend plans on having zero professional help for this birth and only family members will be present. OP, you need to be there and you need to hire a midwife or nurse that knows what they're doing for this home birth. It would be incredibly irresponsible for you not to do these things. Your girlfriend is being unreasonable by not wanting professional assistance with this birth. However, it's her choice whether to do it at home or a hospital. You can't force her hand there. If there will be zero professional help present, then absolutely everyone sucks here. OP needs to make sure his girlfriend and partner are in suitable hands. As someone who has been through labor, no medic slash midwife present is just ludicrous and dangerous. OP should make this very clear. Info, will there be any professionals present to help with the birth? If so, and if they are prepared for anything that can happen, then you needn't be worried about it. You do have a right to give input here since it's your child, too. That said, not all fathers relish the idea of witnessing births, and if it gives you the willies, 
then it really wouldn't serve any purpose for you to be there. She's so anxious that she doesn't even want a midwife there. I will say though, her mom is a former nurse but she wasn't a labor and delivery nurse. I feel like people don't realize how dangerous giving birth is. Info, is there more of a plan than rolling herself into a tub when it's time to pop? Or is there an actual birth plan for if things goes awry? Is there a doula or any other kind of professional to help? OP has stated that girlfriend does not want a midwife or nurse there. Which makes this and everyone sucks here, instead of a you're the a-hole situation. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for waking my girlfriend up with my morning routine? I'm 21 male and my girlfriend is 20 female. We have dated over 2 years and lived together over 1. My girlfriend and I both work full time. She is work from home right now and I work outside of the home. She works 8 to 5 and I work 5.30 am to 2.30 pm. The past few months, we've had morning arguments because she says my routine wakes her up. I get up significantly earlier than her, about 3 hours before she wakes up, and she is not a morning person. Here are her issues, my dad works at the same place as me, so usually he will text me in the morning to make sure I'm awake, he will keep texting until I answer or eventually call. I keep my phone's volume all the way up so I can hear. A lot of the times I don't answer within the first time, and by the second text my girlfriend wakes up. Then there are my alarms. I snooze them a lot because I set them early, so when I wake up, I know I have some time to sleep still. These usually wake her up too, but it's just part of my routine. She's a very light sleeper and has trouble going back to sleep once she is up. She gets so angry with me when this happens because she says she's exhausted. She's in college too so she's up late doing homework usually, despite having to get up and work the next day as well. We've tried a few solutions like her wearing headphones or an alarm clock that turns the light on and it still doesn't help either of us. She thinks I'm an a-hole because I just won't get up when my alarm goes off or my dad texts me, she says that would solve all our issues and that I'm an a-hole for not doing the simple solution so she can get a bit of sleep. I say she needs to learn to live with my routine. Am I the a-hole here? You're the a-hole. She slept with headphones on so that you could snooze your alarm a few times. Literally sleeping with headphones, also you can have multiple alarms to wake you up. Can you imagine the discomfort of sleeping with headphones just so you can enjoy an extra couple 10 minutes of sleep? Just wake up when your alarm goes off and put your dad's texts on silence if he's going to be texting so much in the morning. ETA, because so many of you have pointed this out I wanted to add to my comments so that everyone can see this little gem of a link at the top, this is not the first time op was an awe on reddit. Same dude who didn't do anything for his girlfriend for her birthday. He deleted his post, but it's still there in the comments. Not to mention, OP can still get the extra 10 minutes. Just set the alarm for the time you actually want to get up. There is absolutely no legitimate reason to set the alarm earlier than the time you want to wake up just to snooze it a bunch of times, unless you are being intentionally annoying. You're the a-hole. You've spoken all about your problems, some of which are legit. You haven't explained why they should be her problem though so I'll give you a hint, they aren't. You need to adapt your routine so that it's not hurting the people around you, that involves training yourself to get up with minimal alarms. Certainly not snoozing everything because you can't be asked to shift yourself. You should care about your girlfriend's sleep, it's important for her health. If you don't about her well-being perhaps you should reconsider the relationship. If you keep showing her that you don't care about her health and well-being and are happy to have lots of alarms that wake her up, I guarantee you that she will reconsider the relationship. Imagine instead if she kept you up for 2.5 hours each night when you're trying to sleep, and instead of changing her habits, told you that you need to learn to live with her routine. This. OP, you're the a-hole. And a very inconsiderate one. You are an adult now. Get up on your first alarm. If you're struggling that much, go to bed earlier. And tell your dad to stop texting slash calling and put your turned all the way up phone on do not disturb until you have left the house. These are common courtesies. I'm sure your girlfriend feels immensely disrespected by you. So, it's probably just a matter of time before she leaves if you keep this up. You're the a-hole. You're an adult, get your dad to stop texting slash calling you on a morning. You don't need the backup, you are getting up. Also. Maybe just set one alarm for the morning and then get up and out of the room as quickly and quietly as possible. Plus, you say she needs to get used to your routine but she probably can't if it is a recurring source of conflict. Try and be more considerate of her. This. Why is daddy still texting you in the morning to get you up? 
You're a grown man dude, you should be able to get yourself up to go to work. You're the a-hole. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.